Hi everyone, it's Ozymandias. Today I'm gonna make my first English tutorial, so sorry for the French, it's uh, only English tutorial, but you can hear I'm speaking very badly English, so I'm very sorry about that. Uh, I'm French and I speak very, very, very bad English. So for this tutorial, I'm going to show you the method for how to extract texture from Dolphin emulator. Dolphin emulator, it's an emulator for GameCube game and Wii Dreamcast game. So you can extract texture and you can uh, modify the game with your personal texture. They have a folder named load texture and you can put your personal texture edited with Photoshop and you can have your own personal texture, your own, you know, you know, your own Doge t-shirt on Dev Jam, you can put Super Mario t-shirt of your Zelda on, the, on your Zelda game and that's very funny. So let's go. So you need to, um, to yes, you need Dolphin you need dolphin like this or oh, I use I using a personal dolphin this, this is not necessary you can you this is the Ishiruka dolphin but you can use dolphin 5.0 or older that's not important you can use the the dolphin you want and uh, that's the that's all uh, for this I'm gonna use the dolphin Ishiruka because they have many setting here but I don't use it so you can use the Dolphin 5.0 or older or maybe maybe the the last version I don't know uh, so that's it you need the ISO from the game so you can use USA game or European game that's not important Japan game uh, that's not important for this tutorial you can use which game you want? I using the Dev Jam 5 for New York USA. So for this setting, you have to go on graphic setting here and advanced here. Don't touch anything here. Don't touch anything. Just go to advanced. Uh, this is a tutorial for how to extract texture only. I don't show you how to um, optimize your game uh, it's not the point here so just check here dump texture in utility dump texture just check it just close uh, so now launch the game and just I don't want music launch the game and the emulator uh, now just copy every texture loaded by the game on your folder, on your document folder. So those textures, those, those little paper textures are saving those textures too. Everything loaded by the game are now saved on your folder. So This is important to know that those little texture, those texture too, are saving. So now I'm gonna check, I don't know, a fighter from Dev Jam. This is a fight game, if you don't know. So I'm gonna check a fighter like this. And no, I'm gonna check two players sorry because I want to show you something more for this game I'm gonna check this one I want this sticky fingers texture and this texture and this so that's here so the game extract everything those titles are extract foundation titles are extract Method Man has Blaze 2, Sticky Fingers Tittle 2, The Fighter Faces 2. You can change everything and you can load and extract everything. So, 
here we go the game extract everything now the it's extract but if you want if you know that game using three version uh, three version texture they have this basic default texture so this is the texture uh, here and we have blood texture so for loading those blood texture the game don't load it properly so you have to activate your blazing that's a little bit strange I know so put the game on hard and use two player maybe or hard or I don't know if because on hard they have more life and you know it's better because I want three texture I want the the Ah, the, the blood texture I, I, I load properly but sometimes they don't load properly if you want to load it just activate your blazing and now the texture are loading but they loading properly so this is the second blood texture and you have three texture and I want this third blood texture so I'm gonna put method man on red for showing this now it's on red so maybe I don't know if it's okay anyway I think it's the third texture here yes it's the third texture so they have loaded the three texture so now I have all the texture I want just leave the game put yes and go to your folder uh, yes this is this folder so the texture are uh, putting in your document folder Dolphin emulator if you install your emulator uh, in your C drive this is on document C users your name my the name of my PC is SNWPC documents Dolphin emulator the texture are in those this folder go to dump here texture gnwe69 this is the name of the game and now you have every texture from the game in hit in hit and just check the texture you want I want I don't know the the sticky fingers texture um, just for showing you where is it uh, maybe it's here I think it's here uh, is there so this is the sticky fingers now you can edit you can you can copy that just put copy I don't do it because I already have sticky fingers so I don't want to um, to load another texture uh, go to dolphin emulator load folder here texture folder and now you have nothing here but me I have a folder named gnwe69 just create this folder with create new folder and name it GNWE69 this is the name of the folder here and now you can put your texture of sticky fingers in here and you can modify him if you want I'm gonna show you this I just want to make a backup here on the folder and you can modify your texture here I'm gonna show you this uh, sorry okay I just heard something that doesn't good okay so here it is I'm just gonna this and just save it um, for this game we have a special thing named alpha texture so the ta alpha texture appears like this go to layer layer mask and from transparency and now you can see they have sometimes so they have don't alpha texture but sometimes they have alpha texture like um, like 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 this one I think okay layer um, uh, 
uh, sorry, layer mask from transparency and you can see they have a black texture here this black texture is the transparency so for a chain they need transparency because if they don't have transparency we can see a black texture around the chain and we don't want that so be careful for that just go to layer from transparency if you want to uh, modify texture uh, transparency texture if you don't have to uh, change this transparency texture don't worry about that just modify your texture and save it so file save PNG and replace it I'm gonna replace sticky fingers here say yes and now the texture are good so for loading custom texture in game go back to Dolphin graphics <coughs> And now check, uncheck dump texture, check, uncheck because we don't know, we don't want to uh, extract texture anymore. So we need to load texture now. So check load custom textures and prefetch custom textures. Those two things. Just check it. And now launch the game. And here we go. Now the game is modded with custom textures. Sorry for that sound. And sorry for my bad English again. I was very bad at school, so I have a very very bad English so put start go to battle one on one uh, what the, uh, no don't want that just help B just check if this doesn't matter take sticky fingers method man foundation so you can modify every sorry ah I'm sorry about that sound ah sorry my mic so you can modify every texture you can modify those teeter texture you can find him on your GNWE69 dump you can see it him here this is the loading texture you can Modify it if you want. Want modify title name? You can here. One on one, you can change it. You can change everything. You see. You can change texture from the name. So you can change everything, and we can see that the texture is good. The texture is loaded. So that's the way to how to mod you Dev Gem uh, Dev Gem file for New York game, sorry. And that's work for all the game on GameCube. I don't know if it's work on Dreamcast and Wii, but that's work for all the GameCube game. This is the same method, but the name is not the the, the same for all the game. The name of the game, the ID from the game is GNEW69, and for all the game they have different name so that's all um, this is the way to how to mod the game that don't affect your graphic setting and your performance that don't affect I think if you put very high texture like uh, you know 134 maybe that can change a little bit if you modify all the texture of your game but that's not very important that's work very good with uh, with this game uh, I don't have any problem with uh, making custom texture and I I definition texture I don't have any problem for the performance of the CPU on GPU I have a, a good computer but uh, yeah that's not very you can make very good texture if you want and 
in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to um, to have good 512 by f this is a higher because I I make a bigger texture with Photoshop but uh, it's a 500 yes it's a 512 by 512 but this texture I extract this texture with PCSX2 1.4.0 so I using those textures because the PS2 version are better texture than the GameCube game so in the next tutorial I'm gonna show you how to extract those textures and uh, like this tutorial it's working for all the game using texture so I'm gonna show you in the next tutorial how to extract texture from PS2 with ISO but on PS2 ISO we can mod mod the, the, the PS2 game we can't put custom texture on the PS2 version we can only extract texture that's important so thank you for showing those tutorial, this tutorial. Uh, I'm very sorry again for my bad English. I'm French and I hope that helped you. And uh, yeah, that's all. Goodbye. And thank you for watching.